they come. Come on! That new baby heifer right there. She's coming on up. Christmas day and Jessica and I have just come over here to uh, check the cows and put out a little feed and try to get these guys up so we can look at them and make sure that everything's healthy and looking good and hey this time of the year this kind of farming is just kind of routine it's the same thing just a different day but we want to just take just a moment today and say from our family to yours Merry Christmas and I trust you celebrate the real reason for the season Hey, we're out here sitting by the fire on Christmas night. We've had a great day. God has been so good to us. Tomorrow being our day for corporate worship in God's house, this thought came to mind while watching this fire. If a fire half as hot and half as vibrant burn within the Christians, who will worship the Lord tomorrow, we would be able to do as the apostles did in the times of the early church. We could turn the world upside down. Mississippi, 78 degrees, December the 27th. We just came over and gave the cows some AccuRation tubs and some mineral blocks and put out a little more hay. And in that short time, I worked up a sweat. So for all you guys up north that are battling the snow and the cold and breaking ice out of water troughs and all of those sort of things. I don't envy you, but if you would send us a few degrees of your weather, we would appreciate it. It's a little warm for the time of year and it also makes it feel like we never have a real winter. So when it gets really hot again, we'll be wishing we had. I was telling you in our last video about putting the hay back in the brush to kind of help clean up the brush especially so that we can see what we're doing when we start cleaning up later this year uh, i have personally broken a couple of pto shafts on my bush hog because i couldn't see and uh, we do want to get this all cleaned up so that we can have some decent grass here so i'm just going to show you a few places that we have placed hay that has helped clean up the brush for us.
here's a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. This was all pretty thick brush and we put two or three bales of hay in here and they've cleaned it up back in there. And something we can definitely work with come summertime. Still got a long way to go though. And you can see right down here where they're beginning to work into this and clean it up. It's uh, maybe a little messy right now, but as we go forward, it will benefit us greatly. Well, we're gonna give these gals another few hours on the ryegrass. Been doing this about every other day for roughly a week. It seems to be really working well and helping with keeping these babies happy and satisfied. One of the things you've heard me say several times is that I'm always learning. Uh, there's a lot about farming I don't know. Uh, I consider myself a novice, but I hope that I learn something new every day. And really what happened is uh, we turned cows out on ryegrass too soon. The root systems weren't with weren't where they were supposed to be and we just decimated our ryegrass and then didn't have anything for them to eat so that's when we made the decision to push them back into this cutover feed them and hay them and keep them happy as we could and let the ryegrass recover and thankfully it has recovered pretty well and these cattle are, are getting some time on it every couple of days we normally leave them on there about five or six hours and then push them off. And uh, they usually get a good belly full and they're not cantankerous about going back into the cutoff. But right now we are very content with the way things are going and we will just have to uh, continue to monitor them and make sure they're getting everything they need as far as minerals and protein go. And uh, they are, again, looking really well to be in a cutover uh, most of their day right now. So we're back over here moving them back into the cutover off the ryegrass. Uh, they all look happy and content and fat. Probably just going to get them put in here tonight and give them some grain. These are my three basketball players, Skylar, Jasper, and JC. Pretty easy to identify Skylar today. He's got his name on his shirt. But uh, we're gonna play a little Two on two, me and JC against the boys, uh, and see see what happens. They like picking on the old fat man, but uh, we'll see how that works. Um, we won the first one by a lot, but we played well, and um, yeah. What do you think the key to beating your sister was? Keep her from shooting wide open shots and undefended shots. Skylar, what was your perspective on the first game? You seem excited about that. We executed our offense really well. What was your offense? That's classified. That's classified. JC, what happened in the second game? Can't leave me open. Yeah, I think they went away from Jasper's master defensive plan of leaving you open for shots. So what happens when you leave JC open for shots? Pretty much lose, but uh, splash is what I was looking for. So in the end, we split the games. Both of them were tightly contested, regardless of what that one over there says about having a big lead. And uh, we had fun, sweated a little bit, and now we're gonna call it a day. Every day has some kind of obstacle that you didn't expect. Right now, I'm out of breath from running this calf try to keep him out of the road. He might be the most hard-headed calf we own. Woo! Yo, I need to exercise. We can work him right on down this fence. All of his friends are 
and they're eating right now. And you would think that would be enticing to him. Let's see if we can make him go where he needs to go. He's looking at it. He's a looking at it. How you go, buddy? Right where we need you. Thank you, bud. So this week you have uh, joined us in maintaining our herd, uh, working with uh, putting out hay and minerals and feeding and all the things that we repeat almost on a daily basis. I'm a full-time pastor first, and we farm part-time. We love both jobs that we have and don't view either one of them really as a job. They are uh, callings. We are very, very thankful for where we serve and the people we serve. and. We're also very thankful that God allows us uh, the farm to be an escape, a place where we can go out and, and enjoy creation and enjoy uh, the things that he puts on our mind and allows us to uh, experience. We have some pretty exciting news in my opinion. We haven't ever talked about our horses because our horses are still uh, living in the place where I used to pastor and we haven't moved them here yet, but we have made an agreement with uh, a lady in our church who has some property that needs a little work. Uh, so we have agreed to uh, do that work in return for allowing us to move our horses there. So very soon we'll have some work with some horses and uh, hopefully that will allow us to not only spend more time with our horses, but share some things with you that are also passions of ours and i just want to tell you that if you're one of my very few followers at this point if you would uh, tell other people about us uh, i will unapologetically tell you that we're going to farm and we're going to talk about god and that is our goal to uh, show people our faith not that we can be seen but that he can be lifted above all but we also want to share with many who have already told me that they enjoy watching it because they're not able to go and farm anymore or enjoy the outdoors. And some have said, hey, I, I don't live in a place where that would even be possible, but I enjoy seeing it. So we're gonna continue on and we're going to do everything we can to honor God through it. So thank you for being a part of Hayden Farms. And we ask you that if you would, you haven't already, like and subscribe and share it with someone else. God bless.